What's up, money growers? Jacob back here with another video coming to talk to you guys about something important today because I hope that you are all growing your money today and every day. And we're going to be covering a subject that is um, about the hot credit union <laughs> as we're making this video. P-S-E-C-U, Pennsylvania State Employees Credit Union. And we're going to be talking about um, the pros and cons of their credit cards, particularly this founder's card that is so popular with so many people right now. So we're gonna hop in, dive into this today, go over some of the pros and cons of having this card. Uh, so if you decide to go ahead and put in your application to join this credit union, you can apply. And um, well, actually you can apply for several things we'll talk about uh, here in just a moment in this video. But guys, go ahead, smash like button on this channel, on this channel, on this video, and go ahead and subscribe to this channel. I think I'm a little tired, if you guys couldn't tell. But I'm working at it, I'm grinding away. This channel's been doing great. It's been growing quickly, it's been growing fast because I'm trying to share as much useful information as I can. Uh, for you guys so thank you to everybody who has uh, subscribed and you know been here in the early days and joined along so i appreciate you guys and i also appreciate you guys sharing your experiences down in the comment section because uh it helps a lot of other people who are looking for information like this especially the newer people and it helps me as well so i learned a lot from you guys down there so i do want to say thank you now let's go ahead and jump in here pscc okay they are the credit union that um Recently, it's been super popular just because of people being able to get, like, you know, uh, approved for several cards at one time and a credit uh, uh, or a line of credit and things like that. It kind of like, as some of you have mentioned this in the comment section, when it comes to these credit unions that it's like, and banks, that it kind of like comes in cycles of like whose turn it is to be the one that everybody finds out is giving out great limits and they jump on it. So, you know, whether it's First National Bank of Omaha, whether it's Truist, whether it's, um, oh, who's the other one not that long ago either? I forgot, but right now it's PSECU. They're the one that people are jumping on, and there's good reason you're gonna see here. So guys, if you wanna join, you do not have to be, really have any connection to the state of Pennsylvania. Anybody can join, because the one way you can join if you have no connection to Pennsylvania is, um, I think it's 10 bucks that you donate to like the parks and recreation or something like that, um, and you can join that way. So if you wanna come up here and look around what they have, you can come to credit cards, you can go choose the right card for you. They have classic founders and alumni credit cards. These are for specific, um, University. So if we're looking over here, I choose the card for you. We will take a look here. We're going to focus on the founder's card um, in this video because this is the one that like the most people are going for. This is the one that uh, people want because they get all these nice cash rewards and that kind of thing. So some of the pros and cons with this card. Okay, now this is a Visa signature card. So you have to be able to qualify for at least a $5,000 limit on this card. Now, one of the things about this card, this could, you could, this could be a pro or a con. It goes up to $30,000, and we'll talk about that in a moment. But what people like about this, the pros are that you get up to 2% cash back on this card if you have direct deposit with them. That's something like even Navy Federal doesn't offer that. There's not, I cannot think of too many credit unions off the top of my head that have a 2% back card like this. I know there's at least, uh, I know, I think actually Alliant has a 2.5%. One There's another one that has 2%. Uh, but I for, but I'm not remembering right now. But nonetheless, this is a pretty good two and a half percent or one one and a half percent cash rewards in every purchase. There's no limit on rewards earning, and the rewards never expire. Looking at the rates, okay, of the Founders Card here, twelve point six five percent, pretty good. Founders Card balance transfer. The fees, all right. This is very common with credit unions in general, but I mean this is like same stuff you'll see with Navy Federal, right? No annual fee, balance transfer fee, cash advance fee, foreign transaction fee. They're not big on fees at all at PSECU. So this is a big positive for lots of people who are looking for a card um, that you know they can utilize and have flexibility with because they can do, um, you know, they don't have to worry about getting bashed over the head with fees more like you would, you know, with like a big bank or something like that. So it does kind of show some of the features they have here, like you know, Apple Pay, Google Pay, Samsung Pay, and the PSECU wallet only for Android devices. Sorry, Apple folks. Now. They can approve you up to uh, whatever your approved credit limit is. Now, one of the pros about not just this card, but about PSECU in general, and this might not sound like a pro off the, right off the bat, is they do a hard inquiry when you apply for the credit union. Just to be a member, they're gonna give you a hard inquiry. So some people might hear that and they say, well, no, that's not a good thing because you can oftentimes join a credit union and there's no hard inquiry to join. Why would that be good? Well, the good thing about PSECU and why people love it is because that inquiry is good for 30 days. Now they do pull from Experian. That's who they pull from. So they pull from Experian. Um, 
when you do uh, apply for their membership. So they're going to pull from Experian. I have seen data points of people saying that they've you know froze their Experian and they wind up, I think, pulling like TransUnion or something like that. So they are going to typically pull Experian. Now, that 30-day window lets you basically just, you can just go wild and apply for stuff if you want because it's the same hard inquiry. So people are applying for Founders Card, Classic Card, and even like the uh, personal line of credit, which is over here in the personal loan section, if you guys want to find this on their website. And they're uh, applying for the personal line of credit, which goes up to um, $20,000. So there's no shortage of people showing data points online of you know getting approved for the $30,000 limit on the founder's card or getting approved and getting approved for the personal line of credit here of 20,000. So like, bam, just like that, they got $50,000. Um, in credit available to them. Some people are applying for both these cards and they're getting, you know, I don't know if I've seen too many getting the max amount on both these, which is 30 a piece. But nonetheless, if you get 20 here and 10 here and you're able to get 10 or 20 here, I mean, you just got yourself a lot of credit off of one hard inquiry from Experian. So that's one of the big reasons people are jumping on this really hard and why they're actually backed up and people are talking about how long it's taking them to get on the phone to speak to someone to help with their application or to help with any of this stuff getting approved here. So they're getting really bogged down right now just because they are so popular because word has gotten out that they are like the credit you need to go to right now if you're trying to really get as much credit as you can uh, for you know just one hard inquiry. So when it comes to this, these are some of the big pros with these cards. And some of the cons with it is actually with both these cards, there's no sign up bonus with this. So I did a video comparing the Founders card to the Cash Rewards card, Navy Federal, which I think right now, if you spend $2,000 or $2,500 in 90 days, you get $200 cash back. So Navy Federal will often do that. They'll give some kind of cash back um, reward for spending a certain amount in 90 days. Now it's typically about 10% of whatever you spend, you know, give or take, not always, but pretty close to about 10%. Now with this, there's nothing. So if you have a you know $200 cash back sign-up bonus to Navy Federal, even if you're spending this card at 2%, uh, you have a direct deposit with them, you're gonna have to spend $10,000 just to get the $200 you'd have gotten hitting the sign-up bonus with Navy Federal. So keep that in mind if you know if that is something that's important to you. Now, another con that you're gonna see here with these cards, like I said, this could be pro or con, depending on, like if you're really used to Navy Federal and used to their credit cards going up to $50,000 limit or the flagship goes up to an $80,000 limit, um, these two cards go up to 30,000. Now, I don't think that's bad, okay? $30,000 limit, I will take it. But if you're used to you know going like with higher limits and that's really what you come to expect, these are gonna cap you at 30 a piece. But again, you can get one or both of these and you can get a line of credit. Some people are also applying for car loans and things like that. All of that off this one hard inquiry that oftentimes you will not find even at a Navy Federal um, CQ of Maryland. They're also state employees credit union, uh, but they're based out of Maryland. They do the same kind of thing, but I believe they hard pull from Equifax, but it gives you a 30 day window to go ahead and apply for numerous products. So you have one you know, 30 day window, one hard inquiry. It doesn't hurt to apply for stuff. Even if you get denied for it, it's still only gonna cost you one inquiry. So that's why people like this and that's why it's so popular right now. Some of the pros and cons is looking at the founder's card right here if you wanna compare them to other credit unions, like uh, CQ of Maryland, theirs is a um, $30,000 limit on all their cards except for their one, um, I think they call it like the granddaddy or the high roller card or something like that. That goes up to 50000 So depending on your perspective, some of these may be pro. You know, the limit might be a pro or a con just depending on how you feel about it. But really, I'd say the pros really outweigh the cons when it comes to the founder's card and just applying for PSECU in general right now if you're looking to do that. If you're in the garden and you know you're not going to take advantage of the opportunity, understandable. But if you're looking right now, this can be a really good opportunity uh, to get a lot of credit for just one hard inquiry. So guys, go ahead and tell me what you think about this down in the comment section below. I appreciate all of you watching. That is it for this video. And until next time, keep growing your money.